Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are looking, going to tackle the question 2 of the 2020 NCA Property Concept Level 3. If you have not watched video on the video on question 1, please do so and we will continue with question 2 today. Okay, so we will start the first question. So the first question, as I said before, in probability concept, there are three main ways to calculate probabilities. The first one is table, we have seen in question one. The second one is probability tree. And the third method is called the Venn diagram. Okay, we'll look at probability trees and Venn diagram in this question. So we shall read the question. As part of enrolling in a medical clinic, new patient undergoes health screening test. One of these involves the amount, measures the amount of blood cholesterol to identify whose patient has heart disease or not heart disease. So the first event is going to be heart disease and no heart disease. Then the second event is cholesterol levels greater than 200 mg per deciliter suggest the patient may have heart disease. So the second event is whether the cholesterol level is more than 200 or less than 200. Okay, once we have this probability tree, we are going to put in the numbers. So approximately 5% of the New Zealand population are known to have heart disease. So heart degree is 0 0.05, not heart degree is 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0 0.95. Then they say of the heart disease, 73% have cholesterol more than 200 milligrams. So 73 have more than uh, cholesterol level more than 200, so 27% or 0 0.27 have less than 200. Similarly, those with no heart disease, 76% have cholesterol less, have cholesterol 200 milligram or less, so 0 0.76 less than 200 milligram, and to have more is 0 0.24. Once you have done the probability tree, it's very simple and we are going to calculate the probability. So they say, out of the 100 individuals who were screened from the test, approximately how many would you expect to have a cholesterol level greater than 200? So we are looking at this cholesterol more than 200 and cholesterol more than 200. So what you do, the same thing, just like level 1 and 2, you multiply the probability that leads to it. So you take 0 0.05 times 0 0.73 is 0 0.0365 add with 0 0.95 multiplied by 0 0.24 and that is 0 0.28 add them up together is 0 0.2645 that is not good enough because you need to calculate the expected value if you have learned in level one again expected value is number of trials times probability so there are 100 individuals times the probability give you 26.45 but you cannot have 26.45, so it might be a whole number. According to the marking schedule, you can accept both 26 or 27 people, and that will give you an achieve in question one. Not too bad, right? Okay, we shall now continue with question two. We will look at the probability tree again later. Okay, so now we look at a patient is told that the screening test is positive. The most important is cholesterol level. If it's positive, then the cholesterol level is greater than 200 mg. Comment on whether these patients should be concerned that they do actually have heart disease. Support your answers with statistical reasoning. So this again is a conditional probability. Every question will have a conditional probability. So from your booklet, the conditional probability is P, A given B, is going to be A, probability of A and B, divided by probability of B. So the question asks you, given that it is a heart disease, what is the probability that is a positive test result? Remember, positive test result is cholesterol level is greater than 200 mg. So to get that, it's going to be probability of A and B, so heart disease and cholesterol more than 200 divided by cholesterol more than 200. That is the positive test result. We shall look at the graph again, the table, I mean, okay? So to calculate the probability that it is have uh, the heart disease and cholesterol more than 200, you multiply 0 0.05.0.73, we found out it's 0 0.0365, is the numbers here, and then probability that you have more than 200, we have calculated in section A, which is 0 
divide them and you get the answer is 0 0.138 so you need to answer the question the question asks you comment whether the patient should be concerned so the answer should be the patient should not be concerned because the probability if you have a heart disease given that is a positive test result is only 0 0.138 or 13.8 percent so that probability is not very very high so he should not be overly too concerned so far so good great now we shall look at the third question so to get excellent you must get the part one part two part three all correct and you will get an excellent okay so the question suppose the threshold level has increased from 200 to 250 describe how this increase in threshold level will affect the, the proportion of uh, people having the heart disease and so forth so when the threshold increased from 200 to 250 milligram generally the number of people that test positive will be decreased because the threshold has gone up okay so if you want to calculate the conditional probability probability heart disease given the cholesterol more than 250 that number here the denominator will decrease because the threshold level has increased so when that number is smaller that conditional probability will increase if you can answer that that will give you an excellent so you must answer question one question two question three the three parts and you can get all right you get excellent for part a so what's a good great now we shall look at the second question that is involved the venn diagram okay so we shall draw the venn diagram and see how it goes okay so we shall read so medical clinic is interested in understanding the probability of patient being diagnosed with heart disease diabetes and stroke so we have drawn the three events diabetes heart disease and stroke now we're going to put a number 71 were diagnosed with heart disease diabetes and stroke so the number in the middle is 71 because 71 is for every three disease the person has three diseases so 1359 were not diagnosed. So 1359 is outside of the three uh, circles. Then we should put in numbers. 1907 with heart disease. So 1907 is this region here. Okay. 1814 diabetes. So this whole region is 1814. 627 is stroke. 627. And then now we need to put in the numbers. 388 were diagnosed with heart disease and also diabetes so these two regions diabetes and heart disease these two region is going to add up to 388 so you do not know this region so 388 minus 71 will give you 317 okay so that's the first part okay and to get the second part here 170 were diagnosed with stroke so heart disease and stroke the total is 170 so 170 minus 71 will give you 99 so that's how we calculate that region there and then the last region, if this total is add up to 1907, you take 1907 minus this three region, you get 1420. So once you have done this, you are able to answer the question. Okay, the question asks, calculate the proportion of patients that were diagnosed with heart disease, but were not diabetes and stroke. So you are only looking at this region here. Okay, so you are on, the answer is going to be 1420 out of the 5000 and that will give you an easy achieve. Got it so far? Great. Now we shall look at the last question, which is an excellent question. Okay, it is claimed that for patients with heart disease, they are twice likely to be diagnosed with diabetes than stroke. So what they're looking for conditional probability, again, the conditional probability is probability of A given B is probability of A, and B divided by probability of B. Please remember this because every question in probability concept has conditional probability. Okay, so we shall uh, bring the diagram from the previous question and put it back here. Okay, so now you need to calculate conditional probability of diabetes given that heart condition. So probability that has diabetes and heart disease divided by probability of heart disease. So your A is your diabetes and B is your heart disease. Put in there. So this is the formula that you need to know and put in the numbers there what is the probability of diabetes and heart disease so probability of diabetes and heart disease this region so it's going to be 388 out of 5000 probability of heart disease is only this part 1420 or 19 sorry this whole part sorry 
hard disk is the whole thing. 1907 out of 5000. Simplify them. You cancel out the 5000. It's 388 over 1907. So the probability of that is going to be 0 0.2035. So far so good. Then similarly, you have to do for stroke. Probability of stroke given heart disease is going to be stroke and heart disease divided by heart disease. So stroke and heart disease is going to be here. Okay. So it's going to be 170 out of 5,000. And then probability of heart disease the same, 1907 over 5,000. Simplify them, cancel the 5,000 is 170 over 1907. And the answer is 0 0.0891. That's not the end. So because they want to show whether it is twice or more than twice or less than twice. So we have to calculate the probability. So probability of diabetes, heart disease is 0 0.2035. Stroke heart disease is 0 0.0891. Divide them and the answer is 2.282. So finally, you have to answer the question. The question asks whether can you support this claim. So you say the claim is justified as the person is twice more likely to be diagnosed with diabetes compared to stroke because it's about 2.282. So hopefully you go through the question again, go one more time and before long you should be able to get an excellence in this paper. Have a good day everyone and see you soon. Cheers everyone.